In this video, we're gonna walk through the inspection criteria of a couple different wire rope slings. What I have in front of me is a seven part sling. Where I'm gonna begin is with the identification tag, making sure it's clearly legible and still attached. I have the name of the manufacturer, the type of the sling, different capacities for the hitches, and our serial number or code number. So with this type of sling, I'm gonna begin making sure that there's no broken wires by running my hands across the body of the sling. Always want to make sure you wear gloves and be uh, cognizant of the fact that the wires will, will penetrate the skin, so you want to be real careful with that. Want to make sure our end fittings are secure, not damaged, making sure there's no kinks, evidence of, again, heat damage, which could be arc burns, weld splatter, uh, chemical damage. Make sure our wire are not rusted, corroded. Make sure there's no high strands from snagging, um, that type of damage, and make sure uh, the sling has not seen any kinking from going around a uh, sharp corner, any evidence of uh, small D to D ratio, uh, ratios that would uh, deform the sling itself. Now I'm going to perform an inspection on a sling that I will pull from service. Again, I'm going to begin with the identification tag. It is still attached, however it is showing wear and tear. Uh, I'm having trouble seeing some of the capacities uh, and the unique serial number that we've attached or code. Um, if you can, wipe away uh, the gunk on the tag and reveal everything is legible, just fine. What we want to be careful about is that you don't damage uh, the tag anymore. Right now, I'm gonna hold this tag as questionable, but I want to inspect the rest of the sling. Starting in the eye, again, gonna run my fingers across, checking for broken wires, see if I can open an eye uh, to see if anything pops out at me. Look at my end fitting, make sure it's still secure, not cracked or damaged. Running my hand carefully along, checking for broken wires. Again, uh, making sure we understand that a broken wire can pierce the skin and we wanna be very careful with that. Come down to this area, see a couple broken wires popping out here. If I can bend the sling, I'll move it around to see if it reveals any other broken wires and I'm seeing a few. So again, work my way down through the rest of the sling, checking the other end fitting. Uh, always looking for heat damage, uh, kinking, that would not come on out of the load. And right now what I'm gonna get to is with this eye, it went around a, um, some sort of a pin or perhaps a shackle with too small of a D to D, permanently deforming the eye, making it hard to open and get a good inspection. So I would fail this based on a nearly illegible to illegible tag and evidence of the broken wires in the body of the sling. If you see evidence of kinks, um, that you would not be able to uh, remove under load. That would be a uh, criteria for failure. However, if it is what we call a simple dog leg, if that would be removed under load and go to you know, a true vertical hitch, that would not be an issue for failure. <laughs> 